welcome back. I'm just using a uh, center punch to mark out some holes on this double stack piece of cherry. I've located the holes with a template that I made with SketchUp, and that's what I wanted to show you on this episode. And I'll go over this a little bit later on, but I um, used SketchUp and I used the uh, dimension setting uh, preference where one inch in the drawing equals one inch in the print. So I get a life size template. And I printed it on double stick paper, which you can get at any office supply store. It's a full sheet double stick paper and you can basically just peel it off and what I did is I made a diagram of the part that I'm working on right now. And the key thing for me for using this template is I wanted to accurately locate where the holes are for this project. So here you can see that I've used a center punch to uh, mark the hole for the drill bit. And basically the center punch is sitting right down on top of a little cross that I made with uh, SketchUp. I think you can see that this is off to a good start. This uh, template system has accurately located these holes for me. And I'm going to go ahead and get busy drilling the rest of the holes. And then um, I'll do a little um, screencast on uh, SketchUp to show you how I made those templates. OK, let's uh, review where we're at so far. So I think you can see that uh, the template system is working really well. I've drilled uh, six of these holes. I made notes. I don't know if you can see that in the screen there. But the other good thing about this is I can make notes. And um, one of these holes, I've made a note that I want to drill 3 quarter inch Forstner bit all the way through the top, but only halfway through the bottom. And that is to allow this little copper cap is going to sit in the hole um, part way down in the bottom and be secured in with a screw, kind of giving away some details of what this might be in the future. And this uh, second hole that's remaining, I need to change drill bits. And um, I know all of us have gotten everything all lined up perfect and start working away, and before you know it, you've drilled the wrong size hole. So what I did is I drew an X through it, hopefully to catch myself so I don't make a mistake. And I want to change uh, drill bits before I drill that hole. OK, so I got the label peeled off. It came off pretty quick. I've got my holes drilled where I wanted them and the correct size. Even changed my drill bit to the half inch drill size so that I wouldn't make a mistake by leaving a note on that template. This is the SketchUp template that I used in my project. Let's open a fresh SketchUp document and start from the beginning. First, get rid of the square. Next, go to Camera View and select Top, which gives you a straight view down. Next, select a drawing tool of your choice and draw the outline of your template. In this case, I'm using a simple rectangle size it to the dimensions desired, and then select the Enlarge tool to give a full page view. This just makes drawing easier. Select the measuring tape and lay out the appropriate lines. In this case, I've made two simple cross hatches to center two circles, one measuring 3 quarters of an inch and the other measuring 1 half inch.
Here I've used the measuring tape tool to lay out additional lines above, below, to the left, and to the right of the center point. Then, using the pencil tool, I draw a simple cross in the center of each circle. This locates the center point when the template is taken to the drill press. Next, use the Delete Guideline menu to delete guidelines from your drawing. The next thing, it's not necessary but a useful technique, is to select the center of the circle or any part that you're going to remove and then using Erase Tool or Delete Key, delete these portions of your template. In this case, this leaves two holes, three quarters of an inch and half inch with a center cross locating the center point of the circle. It's not completely necessary but useful to change the template to a light color for contrast when you're at the drill press or at the bandsaw. Next, go to Camera in the menu bar and make sure that you are on perspective view. Then go to File, Document Setup, uncheck the top box, and then select one inch in the drawing equals one inch in the print. Now, when you go to your printer, you will get a template that is life size for your part. Well, I think you'll see the utility of using a template like this made in SketchUp or a drawing program of your choice, printing it on a large single sheet label, trimming it to size, and applying it to your project to help with any specific details. <laughs>